I, I hate losing, like despise losing. So the willingness to accept this role is just your competitiveness. Like if you, if I feel like there's something I can give to a team to help us win like that, that's what I'm gonna give. Oh, you just have to be ready for that role. Taking charges, diving on the floor, just playing defense. Oh, look at that. Good hustle. Oh, excellent hustle. Federer pokes it away. Dives to the floor. Great effort. And Griffin gets the steal for Boston. Yeah, it's not as easy as, like, you know, when you start and you play 38 minutes a night and you know you're going to get this amount of shots. You know, it's pretty easy to kind of go into every game and find it. But sometimes you have to bring energy and, and just be a part of something bigger than yourself. And, and I think that's uh, what excites me about this, this role with this team. As you get older, it feels like you're just constantly doing stuff to, you know, throughout the season to, to be ready to play. This training staff is great. The, the streaming and conditioning staff is great. I feel as good as I have in a long time, but you know, it goes beyond that. It goes, you know, when you're at home, whether it's sitting there foam rolling and stretching at night, uh, making sure you're on top of your diet, on top of supplements and, you know, getting the right amount of sleep. It's, it's sort of like a, just a full-time job, but um, we're lucky because it's honestly, it's like, a, it's, that's a great job to have. I mean, it's, it's, it's one, it's healthy, very healthy. And two, it's just contributing to being able to play basketball, which is what we all love. Continuing to want to play basketball, sometimes you have to you have to just understand like what your role is, and you come into a team and, and you I, you can identify that pretty quickly, or at least I felt like I can. The foundation that they have, the players that they have here, I've gotten to know some of them over the years. And then when I got here, I realized how serious this team was about that. You know, I've been on some teams that, that had championship aspirations and the ability to win championships, and um, ultimately came up short. But this team. Has, has something a little bit different about him that I've, that I've grown to like really appreciate. The spin move from Blake Griffin draws the foul, count it, and a one. Griffin, top shot. Lobs up for Blake Griffin, who gets into the way back machine, elevates over everybody, and throws it down. Oh, Simon says, who did that? <laughs> first came in the league, you know, you want everything right now. You don't, you don't realize that this could be a 14, 15 year career. And it, it really takes a lot for a team to, to have the qualities of like a, a championship team, but also a place like a championship like atmosphere, you know, one where guys really enjoy each other. And I think this team does. I, I tell our young guys all the time, like, don't take this for granted. Like, you know, I'm, Malcolm and I were sitting there talking about it. One day, and then we were talking to the, to the younger guys who have only been here, and we're like, "This is like a this is a special team, you know. Guys like work hard, they play hard, we enjoy each other off the court. Everybody's laughing, having a good time, really getting together, genuinely like being around each other. And that's not always the case. I mean, it, it, it does happen, but it's not always the case in every NBA locker room. So we just try to impart on them a little bit of that like experience that we have, um, is to to not like take this situation for granted.